Hey guys, welcome back. So this is a follow-up to the previous video where I uh, was showing the 3D printed shoulder rings. This is um, how they looked when I wore them the other day. I took them back off again so that I could transport the suit uh, because I had to put it in a really small case and this little extra really mattered. So I took them off again, but I'm going to reinstall them and go over a little bit on camera, just the orientation of the zip ties because it kind of matters and if some of you downloaded these and they're not working right this might help um but anyway this is just kind of a look with the shoulder on and everything i use the 3m gold wrap this is like an automotive gold finish and it's it looks shiny here but it actually has a protective layer on the top that peels off and it becomes even more shiny once that's gone i have a huge roll of this stuff this is just a little excess you can see it just wraps around worked really well i didn't bother to do the sides at all because they're pretty much not visible but I wrapped them on the front and uh, it worked great they did a really good job I didn't even actually wrap the little button on the top that uh, holds the strap down so real quick let's just take a look and I'll go ahead and show you guys can see this on camera I haven't attached these yet but I've run them through and you can see they go in one direction so when you put them in initially you want the little buckle part to be on this side without the indent so that when it goes through and you connect the, the zip tie in place let's see if i can do this the buckle will then rest in the divot uh, nice and flat again these are these are only four inch zip ties and these the holes are actually made for the five or six inch thin zip ties so it'll accommodate a larger zip tie just fine but you can see that when the buckle is closed the little excess piece comes out forward like that and then you would grab a tool here and we do this good of me to have these nearby you know give it snug it down make it nice and tight and then you get your a set of flush cutters and just snip off the excess and now it's completely flush so there's nothing sharp sticking out that will cut you or anything like that I'm gonna do the same to this one Get started and cinch it down. You can see the buckle disappears into the little cavity there. And get this one started as well. Uh, pulled a little too hard. But there we go. Nice and snug. Snip off the excess, snip off the excess, and excess there, there you go, nothing sticking out, nothing sharp, and you got a nice clean surface to work off of, and then we'll put our shoulder bell back on. Now I've gone over this in some previous videos, this is the design that a lot of the replica 3PO builders use with this kind of like a strap system, it goes through the inside of the shoulder here and Velcros to the top of the shoulder bell on the inside. And it works fine for holding the piece together. It, you know, it stays on there, looks okay. But what happens is when you move your arm, it lifts all over the place like this. And I hate that. That's why on the new suit that I'm working on, it has those rotating shoulder bells. I think it's just a, a way better design. Uh, let's see, I don't know if it even shows up. It actually doesn't show up that great in camera, but the color of the 3M wrap is a little bit different than the, the torso itself. And that's just because this torso is one of the very first things that I chromed and I didn't silver it enough and I over tinted it a little bit. So it's a little darker than the shoulder rings. Um, however, like the back here, this chrome gold is almost an exact match to the wrap. Uh, this is the same color tint same process i just had more skill when i did this part versus this part so it's a little bit brighter gold and the color matches the 3m wrap better just uh random facts for you to know about but anyway that was just a follow-up so you can see how they came out with the gold wrap um, these are 3d printed i used them for about four hours a few nights ago and they worked great they, everything worked perfectly nothing broke this is only printed in pla i think um 
If you want something a little sturdier, I would go with a PETG probably, but the PLA is working just fine, honestly. So whatever you want to do. And again, I didn't chrome the little buttons on top. I don't think anybody's going to notice except for me or other 3PO builders. But yeah, it's just in a, a, a second look, another follow-up, so to speak. But it's pretty cool. And I'll be back soon with some more goodies. Thanks for stopping by, kids. See you in a bit. Bye.